and strengthen social partnership. Our partnership with the unions and employers is crucial to the way that we work as a government. By coming together to discuss and collaborate, we solve problems and find solutions to the economic and social challenges currently facing Wales. This way of working is based on robust principles. It is a way of working that is effective and very relevant to current conditions. Throughout the devolution period, the Welsh approach to engagement with trades unions and employers has been defined by partnership. Indeed, our ability to navigate the global crisis of 2008 and the subsequent imposition of austerity has been predicated on our model of social partnership and the recognition that meaningful tripartite involvement is fundamental to delivering progressive outcomes and preventing conflict and dispute. A decade into unremitting public expenditure retrenchment, however, the present model has reached the limits of its effectiveness. The time has come to develop it still further in order to tackle the social and economic challenges facing Wales today. These new advances will build firmly on the social partnership record across legislation, policy and investment. From restoring sectoral bargaining via the Agricultural Advisory Panel to introducing the Code of Practice on Ethical Employment in the Supply Chain, we have worked creatively to, to deliver more protection and a greater voice for working people in Wales. Earlier in this Assembly term, I was proud to take the landmark Trade Union Wales Bill through this National Assembly, rolling back UK legislation designed to strip away the rights of public service workers. The ongoing nature of the challenges we face is well known. The growth of in-work poverty, false self-employment and compulsory zero-hours contracts have a corrosive effect on the health and well-being of too many people in Wales. What is more, these unfair practices serve only to deepen existing inequalities in our society, as those with the least power in the workplace are affected most. And, Diprilawid, they sharply disadvantage those many socially responsible and committed businesses which find themselves at a risk of unfair competition from less scrupulous employers. These challenges, moreover, which face us today, find new forms in our own time. The advent of automation and digital platforms have proven how easily the burden of risk can be shifted onto workers without the protection afforded by conventional employment relationships and how small businesses on the high street can find themselves undercut by tax-avoiding multinational organisations operating beyond our borders. What then, Dipreda, do we now plan to do? Well, firstly, we will put social partnership on a statutory footing by bringing forward a bill in this Assembly term. That bill will enshrine the current non-statutory social part partnership model and ensure that the agreements reached are clearly enforceable. The Wales TUC have made some specific proposals about how best to deliver this and we will discuss these proposals with the other social partners over the coming months. Secondly, we will use the power of the public purse to deliver new social benefits through enhancing the return we receive from those who receive public funding from us via the economic contract. We will scale up best practice, learn through the better jobs closer to home pilots, and we will embed fair work through public procurement and by taking forward our new and innovative approach to the foundational economy. Thirdly, we will create an effective system of monitoring and enforcement. There are a number of existing agreements that have been reached in social partnership, such as the two-tier code. While we have systems in place to monitor their implementation, we know that those systems can be improved, and we lack sufficient means of enforcement 
when breaches of those codes occur. Fourthly, we will put in place new machinery of government to underpin the work of social partners. We will implement the recommendations of the Fair Work Commission to establish an Office for Fair Work. The practical plans to set up a directorate within the civil service are already in place, with a head of that unit already out to advert. And fifthly, we will enact Part 1 of the Equality Act of 2010, the socio-economic duty. We will take the steps required to commence the duty, including new guidance which will be needed to ensure that its implementation is effective and takes full account of the existing Welsh legislative context. We will draw together the relationship between the socio-economic duty and the Social Partnership Bill. Both will help to address inequality from different perspectives, and we will ensure that they fully complement each other. What then, Llawe Dibrilawid, will all these actions deliver? Well, firstly, they are designed to reverse the decline in collective bargaining. The International Labour Organisation, amongst others, has clearly articulated the role that collective bargaining plays in reducing inequality and extending labour protection. We fully endorse the principles set out by the ILO on collective bargaining and freedom of association, and we wish to see these benefits extended to more working people here in Wales. Secondly, these actions will deliver practical improvements in the workplace. Today, the Minister for Housing and Local Government has issued the Government's response to the recommendations from the Fair Work Commission. The Commission has focused directly on the role of trade unions in the workplace and the benefits that this can bring to workers. Our approach to fair work will mean new approaches and new actions to drive up the quality of work and access to employment rights. Thirdly, these actions will bring better outcomes for employers, because with a committed workforce, encouraged by employers who invest in skills and good management at all levels, we can build a stronger and more resilient economy with improved productivity, which is fit for the challenges of the future. Social partnership, Dipper Lowith, enables employers to be active partners in changing for our economy for the better, and we are fortunate in having many employers here in Wales committed to playing just that part. Finally, these actions will bring the social partners together in a system which is streamlined, purposeful, and has the powers it needs to translate agreements reached into actions on the ground. By providing the means of monitoring any agreements, we will secure trust and confidence that the investment which partners make lead to tangible outcomes which deliver benefits for all. Uh, tomorrow, Dibrilawid, I will chair a meeting which brings together members of the Government, the Workforce Partnership Council Executive and the Social Partners Strategy Group. This Shadow Social Partnership Council will encourage social partners to engage on the immediate steps we need to take to deliver on the commitments I have outlined this afternoon. That will include discussion of a shared protocol which describes the expectations for Welsh Government, the Wales TUC and employers on how our engagement will work in practice. Now, Duprilla, with none of this will be easy. Social partnership is the opposite of the confrontational approaches preferred by the Conservative Party whenever they are in government. But it is also the opposite of problem-avoiding cosiness as well. To succeed in making working life fairer, it requires all partners to be focused on innovation and negotiation. It puts trust, engagement and dialogue at the heart of problem solving. Together, the problems which face us all are best addressed. 
It is a way, moreover, rooted in both the long collective and cooperative history of Wales and the history we have written here in the far shorter era of devolution. It is an approach to Prilawith which this Government is determined to strengthen still further and to make it fit for the challenges which the future will provide. Thank you. Paul Davis. Uh, thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer. And can I thank you, First Minister, for your statement? And I look forward